Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is your love life reading for mid to end of August. I want to thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, for supporting me. All of you that have ordered personal readings, who have sent me donations, all the love, your comments, likes, and subscribes. I so appreciate it. You guys just don't even know. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, go find me on Instagram where I do weekly live readings. And um, as well as post, you know, it's, it's gotten to like a, every couple of days I'm posting up daily tarot and messages. And so you can find me there. You can also request a personal reading through there. I do live call readings through there um, if you want to do a face-to-face -face one. But just find me on Instagram at Virgo Angel Tarot to set something up. Okay, so let's get started. Cancer, love life mid-August to the end of August, singles first and then couples. So what's up with singles? Straight up single cancers. Hmm. Let your friends help you and past life relationship. Okay, so if you're having a hard time with someone who does feel as though they are a past life partner, it's almost as though it's got like this crazy intense attachment, attraction. You can't get this person out of your mind. You feel them energetically. It's crazy. Three of Wands reversed. So, okay, right off the bat, and this may not resonate with everyone. I know this is general reading, but this one in particular, because the message I just got is that I have someone who's like a straight up single cancer who really has no optimism, no positive outlook on any future in their love life. I really feel as though they almost gave up on love as though whatever this past life relationship you had, it was a karmic cycle that needed to end. I don't know if you understand that or not. Some of you might, but I feel as though you're still holding on to this. They came back to teach you a lesson. They came back to relive something. There's a karmic lesson, a karmic debt that needed to be paid here. And so whether or not this happened while you two were together, it may, it, 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 the lesson may not have been learned. So guess what? Guess what, Cancer? Either they come back into the picture and you have to relearn it again. And maybe, not again, but maybe this time you get the gist of it. Or the next person you get involved with is the one that might be the situation where you actually learn. But I feel as though there is a cancer here who is a single cancer. I really feel like somebody here just hasn't been able to move on from their last relationship. A few of you have dated, like done a couple dates here and there, but it's almost as though you literally have given up on love. There is no positive outlook. You're just like, eh, whatever. And you try to play it off like it's no biggie, but you know it is. I feel as though you're still holding out for this person. And I feel as though you are way, way more emotional, sad, depressed, detached than your friends truly know. And so it's really time for you, I'm going to show you these even though I don't take more than two to three cards. I'm going to show you this little bundle of cards that flipped over. So even though I get the feeling that your friends have been trying to cheer you up. They notice when you seem a little checked out. You don't seem your normal self. You might not realize that they know more. They just don't want to intrude. A few of you might have one or two friends that are like, what the fuck, bitch? You know, like I just heard that in my head, like snap out of it, you know. But then I have another set of friends who are trying to respect your boundaries, 
are not sure how upset or how bad things really got because you've probably been like, I don't want to talk about it. And so they know that it's bad because you don't want to talk about it. And they're trying to come for you and they're trying to be there for you. And I feel for some of you, your friends know how bad you're in, how bad you're feeling. But you need to open up to them. You need to let your friends help you and help you understand what this karmic cycle was, how to move forward from it, what to do to move forward from it. Because the minute that you learn from this karmic cycle, this past life relationship, whether it's for you to come back together again or not, the better you will be, the freer you will be. You will clear that karmic debt and you will be able to move on to the next relationship, whether or not you two get back together or not. But right now with the three of wands being in reverse, this tells me you, you don't see a future without them. That's what I'm feeling. Like you can't, like you can't even expand beyond the idea that there could be someone else besides them out there for you. And so these flipped over, if you're involved with an earth sign, probably a Virgo, you've got the queen of pentacles, the death card, knight of pentacles, the hermit, 10 of cups, and the six of swords. And so what I'm feeling here is that you, if you were involved with an earth sign or a Virgo, I just say Virgo because with the queen and the hermit could also be Taurus or Capricorn. But I feel that there's a need to really ground yourself, come back to reality, put, put an end to the emotional up and downs, the depression that you've been feeling because you've been really isolated and overthinking things about how, thing, how things could have been. You're like, man, we could have been good. What the fuck happened? Like, we could have had our Ten of Cups we could have been like smooth sailing. We could have had a good future together. It was moving forward a bit slower than you had anticipated or that you wanted. But I want to show you here. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, right? Like he, is, he should be on a snail shell instead of, an, instead of a freaking horse. Let's just put it that way. Why? Because earth signs are methodical. They overthink things. They want everything done perfectly. It's like the one, two step that they're doing, they're literally counting the steps. Okay. That's an earth sign. Guilty as charged. Move on. Anyway. So queen of pentacles, worrying, overthinking, worried about missing a step, worried about missing a beat. Have I said or done everything that needs to be said in order for us to move forward and have this happily ever after? It's things being, you know, you're overthinking it. You really, really, you're overthinking the situation because things felt as though they did fall apart. And I also feel that with some of you, this was a past life partner, someone that you were with who was part of the same circle of friends. So it's almost as though, how can I go to my friends if we have the same friends? How can I talk to them if we have the same friends? What do they know that I don't and vice versa? What are they gonna do once I tell them this is how I feel? And so you know that you need to release yourself. You need to release yourself from this situation, this, this toxicity you have in your head because I feel that as though you're so pessimistic right now about not being able to get up after this has just completely crumbled. You still feel tied and bound to this relationship. You need to talk to your friends. You need to let them help you. You need to let them be there for you. Release yourself from the pessimistic thinking that you've got going on. These cards are just flying everywhere for you. And now we have the death card in reverse. Okay, so if you have Scorpio in your chart, look at that. Okay, you definitely want to get back together with this person. 
you're trying to figure out how to best move forward to get back together with this person and your friends are going to be the answer to that you might not think that they are you might be thinking that they have your ex's best interest here and so you feel as though you're not sure which path to take but you're not seeing both sides of this look at that look at all these characters this is a lot of men here. So if I'm dealing with a gay couple, um, this is someone feeling really emotional and attached to this situation. They can't let it go. They, they, I'm definitely feeling somebody here, cancer, straight up single, can't move on. It's almost as though like dating life, ugh, can't, not interested too much too much it's like it's too much for you let me just be alone let me just be stuck in my world let me just pretend that I'm not moving on with my life let me just pretend that I'm slowly going towards that person but I'm not telling my friends about it let me just give off the vibe like I'm good I'm cool I'll get there I know I know I haven't seen them in so long I know I know you guys haven't seen me with anyone in quite some time I know, I know, I haven't been dating anybody. Nobody's been in my life. Let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Don't be afraid to open up. Don't be afraid to release everything that you've been holding in. You'd be surprised how much better you're going to feel. That death card with the Scorpio, the, the death card in reverse with the tower card and the hanged man. Oh my God. Talk about stall completely you are not moving forward and if somebody here I don't know why I just got jail in my head if somebody here is in jail which is probably why it's not moving forward like someone got locked up and you just can't get over the situation you just can't move past it and you feel as though you need closure to move past it let your friends help you there is a very very heavy stagnant energy that i'm feeling here for you cancer you want nothing more than to come in and try to figure this out you can't release yourself from this relationship you want to be able to come in and start dating and offer that cup of love whether to the same partner or to a new partner you want to be emotionally balanced. You don't want to come off as emotionally imbalanced because I feel as though for the first couple of dates that you went on with someone else after this situation is probably how you came across or you were really bitter. You gave off that stagnant and bitter energy like you just had no interest in moving forward. And I don't feel as though it's let you have no interest, but you just feel so pessimistic about your love life that you've given up. You feel permanently chained to this partner whether you're together or not. You, you haven't been able to let them go energetically is what I'm feeling. And until you let them go emotionally and energetically, will you be able to move forward to a much more positive path, to be able to date again, to be able to work this out with the past life relationship, right? But this is a karmic cycle. And as long as you're holding yourself back, replaying everything that went wrong coulda shoulda woulda right as as long as you're replaying it you're not going to move forward look at that you have every opportunity to just break free from the, this harsh ending because i do feel that this was a really bad ending that's why there's no optimism in you, you have no faith in starting something new with anybody. You feel as though, what's the point? I'm not built for this. I'm not made for this. I just need to be single the rest of my life. But guess what, Cancer? You're not even able to do that right now because you're still harping on this harsh ending. You are so stuck in where you're at that you can't even start a fresh new beginning being single. And you've probably been single for quite some time. 
Oh, I need to pull a heal yourself card before I pull out the Oracle of Love card. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're definitely not speaking. You're not opening up. My throat completely closed up, which tells me you've held a lot of it in. And the, mo the more you go on holding all these emotions, these feelings of sadness and betrayal, the more you go on holding it inside, the harder it will be to release yourself from it. But trust me, it will be so freeing when you finally get it all off your chest, hang out with your friends, doesn't have to be a big group. It doesn't have to be a big old thing. Pick one, the closest one. Let your friends help you. Okay. What does single cancers need to heal from? What is blocking them? How can they move forward from this karmic cycle? I am telling you, cancer, you feel trapped as though you cannot move forward from this. Every single card here is talking about stagnancy and harsh endings and how do I move forward? And you feel as though you can't, you, like I, I, I feel as though, oops, sorry for my camera moving around. I feel as though I feel as though you have this sense of, I've accepted that this is what my life is going to be. So rather than finding your own inner strength to move forward, you've accepted, you've accepted the stagnancy in your life. If you're stagnant in one energy, let me tell you, it's going to trickle into all other energies at all other areas of your life. That stagnant energy, that stall feeling in one part of your life will trickle onto others. And since we're dealing with your love life here, cancer, don't be surprised if your job, your career gets boring, going to school, you feel like what's the point in that too? These energies tend to blend and meld together in all areas of your life. No matter how much you want to keep certain energies separate. And so you've accepted that this feels like a trap to you that you can't move on from it. And that's probably how you spend your nights, your weekends alone. Feeling that, that heaviness right behind you, looming over you, unable to move forward. And so when I ask, what do cancer singles need to do to release themselves from this and move forward so that they can get rid of this stagnant energy, you need to take on courage. You need to be bold. You need to be brave. You need to not be afraid of whatever backlash may come about. Courage to get up off the bed, get up off the couch and say no more. I'm not spending another Friday night, another weekend in bed, depressed, Netflix all day, ordering pizza, having ice cream or pizza and beer, hanging out at home, playing video games. What you need to do is have the courage and have the strength to heal from this because it's not easy healing from something like this, but it takes a lot of courage to get there. So let's see Put my little crystal heart there. What do we have for their next step? Love Oracle for cancer singles. Love Oracle, please. Okay. That one went flying. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. So have the courage 
the strength, the self-love, the discipline to really, really love yourself, to heal from this, to be able to move forward from this, whether you two work things out or not, or whether you're ready to release yourself from this karmic cycle, from this past life relationship in order to have a positive, new, happy, loving beginning with someone new. Okay, so Cancer Singles, that's where you're at. You got to have the courage to unblock yourself because I'm definitely feeling stagnant energies here. I mean, like, oh, give me another word for stagnancy. Where's my dictionary? Because I really, really feel like some of you feel so, so stuck. Com like, not even just like pessimism and, and stagnancy isn't even enough to describe the feeling I'm feeling. Like, there's no motivation, no enjoyment of any aspect of your life. You aren't happy. You just are not happy right now with the way things are. So that was your reading, Cancer Singles. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath because that was a tough one. I felt like cement shoes were bringing me down. Okay, let's move on. So let's move on here. Cancer couples. What's going on for cancer couples mid to end of August? What can you tell me? What's going on for cancer couples? Okay, separation. Cancer couples. Well, I just meant to take that one, but this one came too. So getting to know each other and romantic feelings. Okay, so this is for couple different people because I don't see it all together here. So I'm going to let you know right now that for some of you that watched the beginning of the reading for the singles, some of you just skipped ahead and didn't watch the beginning. It's all good. For those that did or did not watch the beginning that are straight up singles, I feel as though you may be one of those in-betweeners who, you know, in August may have separated, may have broken up with your partner. You feel this strong attachment to them. It's a karmic cycle. It's a past life relationship. You've known them before and you just can't help but feel as though you've lost them forever. Those feelings are there for each other. They're there. And this has been a very harsh separation for some of you. So if this has to do with any of you singles that saw my first reading or for some of you in-betweeners here that are now single, trying to figure out what's going to happen now that you're separated, watch the beginning of this reading if you haven't yet. Two of Wands. Not quite sure if you want this separation to be permanent or not. Yeah. You thought you were going towards something more traditional. You thought maybe you would be getting married. For some of you, I do feel as though someone here called off a wedding. There is a need. Okay, here we go. Lots of cards flipped over. Okay. I don't normally take all these cards. I am going to show them to you, though, however. So, Judgment card, Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So, if you are involved with an Earth sign, or this could be you, who thought they made the practical decision to move forward, at the same time, you're feeling... Maybe a little bit of regret with this loss because you decided to separate from this partner. You decided to call off the wedding, but you're feeling that maybe that was the wrong decision. You do want to move forward. You wanted to move on to something bigger and better, and maybe they weren't on the same path as you were. And so it's time to speak up. Own your truth. To speak your truth. Communicate clearly. Because as long as you own your truth, you're good. What happens from then on, you can feel good about yourself that you did not waver from what you knew was your truth. You need to be authentic with yourself and genuine and others need to respect those boundaries, right? And so I do get the sense with the separation that some of you are regretting the separation. Maybe it was done a bit hasty. I definitely feel as though 
This could also be a Taurus. I definitely feel that for some of you, there was a wedding that got called off. Some of you were afraid of the new beginning of how things, how your relationship was going to change once you got married. You know, they always say, oh, things, things are different once you get married. The first year is always the hardest. It's always tough to get through the first year. Yeah, harsh ending. There's a cancer here with a earth sign, Pisces cancer, uh, not, not Pisces cancer, sorry, with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I do feel as though you're slowly trying to figure out which path to take. There's a few different messages I'm getting here. So for some of you that relate to the singles reading that I just did, if you haven't seen it, be sure to watch it. But for those that did, or you feel very attached to this person you're no longer with, you're straight up single, you don't know how to move forward, you're so pessimistic, so depressed, you just, you're just... I don't even know how, how else to describe all these energies, all these feelings I was feeling with them. It's like no hope whatsoever. You have not healed from that breakup. You cannot move forward. Like you feel, you literally feel as though you cannot and probably never will be. That's how you feel. I'm not saying that's my opinion. I'm saying that is how some of you have been feeling. And so for some of you in-betweeners that are here that I'm reading for couples who have this separation and that's why you ended up in that singles reading as well. I, I definitely feel as though this was a very, very harsh ending. The singles got the Ten of Swords as well and the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card. So I do feel as though some of you singles with these people that are like in-betweeners, right? I also feel that there are the grass isn't always greener and somebody thought it was and so they broke it off. They ended the engagement. They end, they canceled the wedding. Thought that this new life, this new path was going to be much more promising. You have two of swords and the two of wands. You thought that Somebody here thought that there was something better on the other side. Maybe you weren't in a traditional relationship and then somebody came in and presented something much more traditional for you. They said a lot of good things that caused this ending in your current relationship. But then I feel as though as you went on to the other side of that grass, you realized, wait a minute, what did I just do here? What did I do? Why did I end this? Why did I end this engagement, this relationship, this, you know, this marriage? Why did I move out? Why did I think going this way was going to be better? What got me to that point? You're slowly starting to see that. What's blocking those that can relate to the separation card? What's blocking them, please? Cancer couples and in-betweeners. What's blocking them? Wow. Those flew out. Hang on. Those flew and tumbled. Again, I'm, I'm going to say this. For some of you with the separation card, that singles reading is definitely has to do with the separation card. I feel as though that singles reading just just moved on to this part of the reading. So I'm going to put these romantic feelings and the getting to know each other separate because I feel that that is a different group of people. But those of you that were part of the singles reading that felt very energetically and emotionally attached to this ex that you're no longer with, this past life partner, there needs to be some communication but you're definitely not communicating. Again, you, you got these cards in the earlier reading. Eight of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords reverse. And I'm shuffling, I'm constantly shuffling. But this time they came up in reverse. And for those that are new to my readings, welcome, first of all. But those of you getting to know the way I read, not a single card in my deck is in reverse. And I do that on purpose. I do read reversals. However, I feel as though 
when the cards come up in reverse, when they're all in upright, mind you, this is how they came out. They flew out like they tumbled out and this is how they landed. Three cards in reverse, two upright. All of my cards are upright. So this is someone not speaking their truth, avoiding speaking their truth, manipulating the situation, sugarcoating, not being completely honest, being a bit deceptive here, feeling completely imbalanced as though that there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to move forward. But at the same time, at the same time, you know that you're feeling stuck. You cannot move forward. That's how the singles was feeling, completely stuck in their situation as though they couldn't move forward in their life. And so if you have this King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your life, they will come in and communicate some information to you. They're going to come when you least expect it. They're going to come with very fast, rapid communication. So that could be one of your friends because the singles got past life relationship and let your friends help you. So again, oh my goodness. Five of Swords, you're literally getting like the same cards the singles did. Page of Swords. And now she's upright, Queen of Pentacles. So what do you need to do? You need to regain your balance. You need to speak your truth and communicate. When this Five of Swords comes up, it's usually someone being a total asshole, undermining, undercutting you. But in this case, the way I'm feeling it is that this card, which also stands for winning at all costs, right? I'm not saying you need to cut the other person down. I'm saying you need to win at all costs for yourself, not by hurting other people, but by finding the courage to move forward and get up after this 10 of swords and just saying, you know what? I'm sorry. Things should not have ended this way. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Trying to move on from it, trying to Figure out what the next step is here. To, you, there are messages and communications here that need to happen. This was a home. Maybe you two were living together and now you're not. But I definitely feel as though somebody's home life relationship just fell apart. It fell apart. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. Somebody chose a different path. Someone here chose to chose a job that got them to move somewhere else, that got them to travel. And so there had to have been an ending to this relationship that essentially made them unhappy and miserable. Why? Because this offer of a new job, new beginning, new career that was perhaps in another state, in another county, another country was presented with such big, huge goals in mind. Like it was like the most amazing thing. And your partner said, I can't, I can't get up and go with you. I don't know anybody over there. Like, how can we do this? Like we've only been seeing each other for so long or we're not even married or whatever it might be. I can't, I can't do that. And maybe they were trying to convince you not to take the other job. And so you split up. You broke up. You went your separate ways. Both of you are miserable. I'm going to tell you right now. Nobody's happy here. This new job that somebody took that got them out of their situation, they're not happy because guess what? It ended up not being what they expected. They're missing you over there. They're saying, what do I do? How do I go back? I'm on this contract with this job. I cannot leave this job. Here I am in another state, in another country. I can't go back. And I want nothing more than to go back. But how do I tell them that? How do I tell them I still love them? And guess what? You're both absolutely heartbroken. You're both feeling that way. And you can play it off as though it's all good. I respect you. I love you at a distance. You can play it off as though, you know, I, I'm going to support you 100% even if it means we're breaking up and you got to do this. I'm not going to get in your way. And someone here is going to be the martyr. And maybe you felt that 
they wouldn't actually move and take the job and then you realize they did and now what now what happens now you'd give anything for them to come back and offer you that opportunity to go with them and so you are thinking about that you are thinking I wonder if it's too late for me to go I wonder if it's too late for me to meet them over there I wonder if they'll still take me back I wonder if I could find a job over there because whatever this job is or whatever this business or whatever it was that had them move to wherever they had to go I don't see them being able to move back home anytime soon it feels like they're tied contractually to a certain amount of time that they need to be there. Almost like, you know, maybe this relates to someone like those study abroads. You have to do it for a semester type thing. It feels like that. But with some of you, it's a job. With some of you, it could be education. I don't know why I just got that. What's that program? You guys, you guys might know that Doctors for Borders or whatever the heck it's called. Like they take on this thing where they go help out people in another country. You're all about it and then all of a sudden you decide not to. And so there's a separation and so one of you is in another country. I don't know why I thought of that. So that has to resonate with someone here. So you in-betweeners, if this resonated with you and you did not watch the singles in the beginning, uh, go back to the beginning and watch that one, please. So let me get a fresh new deck and move on to you couples dating probably just recently started dating what is going on with cancer couples what's going on romantic feelings and getting to know each other all right let's shift this out a little bit that one's a, that was a bit of a downer right so i'm sorry you guys are going through that either i know there are some cancers that are like that doesn't resonate that doesn't apply to me and probably already gave me a thumbs down and didn't stick around for the romantic feelings and getting wish fulfillment and getting to know each other because this is a nice new little relationship where you feel so strong and empowered and being able to move forward and you have all these great things going on for you couples and newly dating look at that new beginnings out with the old in with the new right look at these cards are like literally just flying out for you okay couples Getting to know each other, couples and dating, right? Romantic feelings. So there's obviously some serious attraction here. Some, you know, somebody's heart skipping a beat, some romantic flutters there. Getting to know each other. The more you get to know each other, the more you feel so good about this relationship. Like you wish you would have met them years ago, right? Like where have you been all my life? And you're so excited. You're so happy to get to know them. You're so happy to start seeing them. You want to see them more often. You're hoping that this is something that becomes a successful and stable relationship if you are with an earth sign pisces i'm sorry i always keep referring to earth signs as pisces so if there is a pisces with earth or earth sign with pisces let me know because that keeps coming out earth signs taurus capricorn virgo there's also this queen of swords so I'm going to tell you right now, there is a cancer female who probably never thought was going to be in a loving relationship. This is like bitter Betty, queen of swords. She will cut you with that sword. She don't give a fuck, right? She is that cut a bitch queen. That is what I call her. My regulars know that. And I feel as though some of you thought that that's who you were going to be permanently. Or that's who you were always attracting for you, cancer men. You were always attracting like that bitch, right? Like, why is she so bitchy? Well, why are you putting up with it is what I'm going to tell you. you. You got the king of pentacles here. Midas touch. What you want, what you say goes. Manifest the shit out of this loving relationship. You've got beautiful, beautiful brand new beginnings. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. Maybe you just met an Aquarius. This is the Aquarius card and so is she. There is so much hope and healing here. It's ridiculous. Oh, love it for you couples and dating. You, you are so enthralled by this person. 
you just want to like hurry up let's go let's go let's do let's move fast let's move faster let's go let's go like like I, that's the only that's what i keep hearing in my head like let's go let's hurry up like i would not doubt it if some of you got married in less than a year of seeing each other like for some of you i feel like in six months you're gonna get married i really feel it okay so for those that get married in six years i'm sorry six months some of you might be six years but for the especially if you're with an earth sign because they are slow as fuck anyway for those of you who get married in six months come back and let me know because i totally feel like in six months some of you guys are going to be husband and wife this is like insane happiness wish fulfillment do not be afraid of shit falling apart so i'm going to tell you right now if you move way too fast before getting to know each other better because hello get to know each other husband and wife right there okay here it is who you're with for some of you is still going through a divorce they're not fully divorced they're still going through their own little turmoil you're probably not aware of it if you know that they're separated and they've told you yes i'm going through a divorce or guess what you became the reason to finally file those papers because they're really into you be ready for that crazy shit that's gonna happen while they're going through the divorce that's how you guys will get to know each other you know when you really really learn about a person is when you experience something absolutely stressful how they handle stress says everything about a partner if they can't handle the stress of what's going on at work of what's going on in family life if they if they just completely fall apart and this is like a regular thing that they're constantly under this type of stress says a lot be prepared for that be prepared to be there for them to support them and then be prepared for some days to be like i don't want to talk about it i just want to be alone don't take it personal this king of wands he is action packed king he does not care like once he wants something he's gonna make it happen look at how look at look at how like confident king of wands is here he's like oh yeah she's the one for me that's it and 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 i know i've been separated a long time i've been separated a real long time and didn't file the divorce papers i'm about to do that be prepared for the backlash you will not be okay let me, let me put it this way you will be blamed for the divorce even though these people have been separated for a really long time. Like the divorce all of a sudden was a surprise or a shocker to the other person. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. To the other person. You are not the reason why they were separated to begin with. Now, you third party people, I don't even want to know. You want to get into some people's relationship. Not only will that, will that tower fall apart on the marriage, but you're also going to end up bringing that tower energy into yours. So clear yourself from any of that karmic debt. Clear yourself completely. So let's, let's figure this one out. How do cancer couples move forward from this tower? Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And so here's where you are. Romantic feelings, getting to know each other. Getting to know each other to the point that you two realize that there's something more here than you ever thought possible, right? This is a really great opportunity for you to really open up to really get to know each other, to really appreciate it so that when someone goes through their own personal tower moment, the support is there, the love is there, and the tower moment won't scare you away. I'm going to go back to these in-betweeners over here. My poor separation people that were dealing with a separation let me have a card to assist them out of their se separation well when I ask what you need you in-betweeners healing 
healing, complete healing, and letting go, letting go of this pain, of this, of this separation. You need to heal from the decisions that were made. You need to accept responsibility for your part. You need to be communicative. You need to get on the same page with them and figure out what it is that you truly want here. And so if you want to work things out and get back together again, talk to them. Let them know. If you want to heal and move on from this so that you can move on with someone else or just even get out there to find someone else, you need to, do, you need to go on your own healing journey to be able to do that. Cancers, this was a really long reading. I feel as though some of you have been through so much with this separation I wish you all the best, lots of healing, lots of love, and um, yeah, let me know if this resonates, let me know if any of it resonates, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment below, and I'll see you guys next month, okay? Take care, Cancer, bye.